Greetings YouTube, it is I, Rob Brinlow, your faithful reviewer. I have to apologise that I didn't do a review yesterday, but I was out doing stuff. I'm going to let you guess what that sort of stuff is, but if you want a bit of a hint, it was helping my father-in-law. And having some rest, because it's been a really super stressful two weeks. Now, on to today's. Today I'm going to be rev I haven't actually got any box sets, because I'll come to that, the reason why. If you hear anything in the background, by the way, it's because my wife is watching Blackout, the uh, BBC program that was on a couple of days ago. Anywho, I'm Channel 4, she tells me. Anyway, so I'm going to be reviewing Superman Unbound and, oh god, uh, Justice League Flashpoint. Now, Justice League Flashpoint is uh, it's called the Flashpoint Paradox. It effectively, the Flash travels back in time to stop his mum from being killed by some bloke and inadvertently changes the course of history so for instance Superman did crash but he crashed in Metropolis and was picked up by the government uh, Bruce Wayne got killed in the alley and his dad and died and his dad became the Batman who had no problem with using with using handguns and his mum became the Joker and so having Harley Quinn, we had a girl called Yo-Yo who works with the Joker. Um, Wonder Woman and Aquaman became temporary lovers. And then um, the Queen Aquaman's wife was killed by Wonder Woman when she tried to kill her because she was sleeping with her husband, etc. So that happened. And then there was this humongous Atlantean war. At the same time, the cyborg works for the government, but he's a lot sort of yeah. beefier looking, that sort of idea. Uh, Green Lantern, uh, Hal Jordan never became the Green Lantern, although he did fly the ship that Abin Sur came along in. He ends up getting, being killed in a suicide mission. Um, the Flash uh, Lou never got his powers because he never did whatever happened. You know, uh, He does get him back. Or at the same time, uh, the reverse Flash, uh, I don't actually know the guy's name, but I think it's like Thorn or something. Uh, he's in the future, and uh, he's basically the only person who actually knows that anything has changed. So, it's about the Flash trying to get his, he gets his powers back, and then it's basically him trying to get the Justice League to come back together, whilst at the same time helping who everyone else who... Is around, who is alive to basically stay that way and put everything back. Although he does save his mum and he's really sort of choking his own, oh, I must see my mum more often. I think she's in it for maybe less than five minutes, which is really pointless because it's like, well, actually, I'm going to spend all my time with Batman and just ignore my mum, who I've actually gone back in time to, uh, you know, go and rescue. To cut a long story short, it does get sorted. I'm gonna put the uh, the link for the uh, the actual film, not the full film. These will be the clips that are on YouTube at the moment. But uh, because I I got my my copy through my cousin, who managed to download it for me. Um, right now, I'm not gonna give it a verdict. I'm gonna wait until the end before I do that. Next one is. Uh, Bat uh, sorry, Superman Unbound. Superman Unbound is a story about Superman and Supergirl, Kara Zor-El, um, versus Brainiac. Because Brainiac, if you've ever read the comic, he stole the, spot, the city of Kandor, which was the Kryptonian capital, turned it into, you know, shrunk it down to sort of like, you know, yay big, miniaturized the whole thing, and turned it into the Bottle City, which is quite a uh, sort of well-known thing if, in fact, I've actually just remembered what this is. Um, right, so, for instance, bear with. I will be there in a minute. Right, so, all these people here, this is from uh, the Dark Knight Strikes again. All these people are Kryptonians, uh, inside the bottle city of Candor, which then get released by Captain Atom, who um, something stupid like 10,000 Kryptonians. 
suddenly develop Superman's powers and basically kill Brainiac. But in the story, they don't get any powers, which is probably a good thing. <clears throat> and um, it's about how Superman goes up against Brainiac by himself, as he does. And Supergirl is really frightened because all of a sudden these robots appear and start taking the people away and killing them, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, they go and fight Brainiac. Now, the big thing at the end, I wanted this to be good. I really did. I watched, I've been told that it was really good. Sorry, I'm just cleaning my iPad at the same time. Um, I, want, I was told that it was a really good one. It's a lot darker than usual, but... Sorry, I should point out, I'm talking about the uh, Justice League on that one. The other one, the Brainiac, the Superman one, is actually you know, just another Brainiac story. Yeah, so DC can squeeze some more money out of sad people. I don't I don't mean that. I don't mean sad people. I mean people who just like DC, etc. Anyway, my big gripe was the fact that, yes, he does, Superman does beat Brainiac by bringing him down here and throwing him effectively into a lake. And that's about it. And then he just overloads and dies. Now, my rating for both of these is, uh, if I had to give it out of 10, I would give this my lowest I've ever given. And that's going to be 1 for shite. And that's for the Superman 1 because, A, the story is pathetic. B, the artwork is atrocious. C. The bad guy is a complete bell end. D. Superman, you really could not give a shit whether or not he beats him or not. You know he's going to. That's about it. And the only good part of it is the fact that Kara Zorel is in it. And they've drawn her looking like a teenager. So for all you perverts out there, or lonely people who watch, who, you know, watch Smallville. You know, go ahead and watch this. Then, we've got the Justice League. I'm going to give that a 2 for slightly less shite. Because the artwork in it is really good. I will admit that. The storyline is crap. The um, characters... The only ones I do like out of them are the Batman. Because it's Thomas Wayne. I will include the link, as I said. And he's not afraid to use weapons and torture and all that stuff. And Superman in this is an adult, but he's completely emaciated. Like, he's never, he's barely walked, if he has walked at all. He's never had his powers before, so he's been kept in a red sun room. And um, judging from the look of it, he must have broken out at once. Or what, something, because the containment thing he, he is in. His prison, effectively, is enormous. But, again, you can't sit there and think, oh, this is going to be brilliant. It's shite. Absolute. It's... I'm getting choked up on my own anger here. It's the biggest pile of steaming dog turd I've ever watched. And I've watched a lot of rubbish. So, you, I watched them, and it was... About two and a half hours of my life. I'm not getting back. That's all I can really say about that. Um, like I said, I'm still going to put the links on to uh, the description below. But if you think you've got any better opinions of it, do yourself a favour and keep them to yourself. If you feel like you want to tell me them, go ahead. I will read them and I will reply. But be warned, I'm going to be horrible about DC cartoons from now on because I'm with exception of actually I can bring this up because I have got a couple of extra videos come on I've actually got a couple of extra videos that I got given so if you bear with me just a second right so we have got Batman under the Red Hood which is awesome Green Lantern Emerald Knights not too bad uh, Green Lantern First Flight, that's really good. Uh, Dread, a lot of people are, uh, thought it was rubbish. I actually thought it was a hell of a lot better than the uh, the um, St Sylvester Stallone one. And that is all the uh, DC stuff I own. Which is not, well, except for the two 
Batman ones, which I've already done reviews for. So, I'm going to sign off now. But, see, like I said, if you want to give me your opinion on it, go right ahead. Um, there's going to be a video coming up. I've actually been, the other reason why I've been a bit late doing this is because I've been trying to come up with some ideas of other videos to do. And I have come up with a nice little list. And my wife, who's got a channel of her own, me and her are going to be doing a joint one, which I will be putting it on both. But, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but needless to say, I am a little bit worried about what's going to happen. So, more on that later. Okay, bye.